Well, hi, everybody. Uh, I want to welcome you to our first ever Facebook Live here at First Baptist West. We're excited about getting to do this. We just want to be informative to you tonight and just uh, enjoy some time together as a church. And our goal is to keep everybody focused. As you can tell, we're kind of in a little different setup. We're uh, doing it kind of like a talk show. And so we do have some guests with us tonight. And uh, our first two guests that we have for our Facebook Live is, of course, two apples of my eye, uh, Sherry and Jade. They're going to be here with us. They're two of my girls. Stephanie, unfortunately, couldn't be with us tonight. She is the student director at First Baptist Moore. And my wife, Martha, would probably rather be kicked in the shin five times than to get on television. So uh, she's watching tonight. So she's probably going to kill me that I even mentioned her name. But she is part of the apples of my eye as well. What I wanted to do, this whole thing that we're looking at, is just to try to keep our church connected, um, to get have some information out to you. But just give us a focus and have a little fun together. I did think about doing a monologue tonight. Uh, for our show, but uh, I'm actually thinking I'm the only person that thinks I'm funny, so we wanted to stay away from that as yeah, they're nodding on that. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. We'd like to see if, if you're there, if you would kind of list us, uh, let us know that you're there and write us a question or a comment or anything like that. We're trying to look at that over and, and see how things are going, okay? So um, uh, do we have anybody gone there? All right, good. I think we have the Krauses. There you go. All right. Okay. All right, there we go. Ah, Susan, William, uh, uh, Will. Will is there. Good to see all of y'all. Thanks for joining us to, uh, tonight. So now we know we're not talking to nobody. So uh, we feel a lot better about that. So anyway, let's go ahead and, and get started. Others will be coming in. So uh, I, think, I think you're funny, Harold. Thank you, Sean. I think you're funny, too, so we'll just tell each other jokes next time we go around, all right? So anyway, uh, first of all, I do want to mention uh, to, um, uh, to the girls about thanking them for being the first people. They uh, weren't so sure what we were doing when they got here. They were unpleasantly surprised by the setup, but we're, we're happy there. So, uh oh, how do we turn that off? The mute button. Okay, John, come in here and help me out here. There we go. All right. Hey, there's Tammy. And hey, John, Rebecca's on, so she's here. Uh, and she's such a fan of your guests, of our guests tonight. So Rebecca's happy to have you here. So anyway, ladies, things have been different in our world today over the last couple of weeks, as you very well know. So what I want to do to ask first is, what have you been doing during this whole coronavirus thing to, to just to get through life? Who wants to share? You want to go first? Sure. So um, I've been home for the last almost three weeks now. Uh, I was supposed to leave um, the country on Monday. Uh, that has been put off for a little while. Um, so what I've been doing is frankly trying to figure out what to do. Um, you can only wash so many dishes in a day. You can only binge watch something so much. But no, I've been keeping in contact with a lot of people back in LA, and as well as people that I've met over the last couple months, trying to maintain good contacts, and uh, doing a lot of Bible reading, a lot of listening to sermons, and a lot of investing time in family. Okay, so very good. how I've been spending my, <laughs> my days. I do, I, do, I do want to mention one other thing, have her mention the, the, the joke we had before we came on, and I'll say, hey, hey David and uh, Heather, Randy is here, so good to see all of y'all, but uh, we joked that Sherry has another uh, thing that she does in our house to try to get her steps in. <laughs> Sherry, Sherry what, what, how, how, many, how many miles have you walked in our living room? Um, so the other day I literally walked four miles in our house going from <laughs> Dining room, kitchen, dining room, dining room, living room, kitchen, back to dining room. And I've discovered that 60 laps is a mile. Yeah. So throughout the day, I will just take walks around, social distancing at its finest. That's right. Yeah, we're all sitting around watching this thing. I know Shade gets up and just starts walking. I'm like, oh, there she goes I'm again. Not to gain the COVID-19. You know That's saying? right. Yeah, she doesn't want to gain. All right. So, Jade, have you been able to have so much leisure time as Sherry? Yeah, no. My life has been very different from Sherry's, um, mainly because I'm still um, able to go to work, um, and I'm realizing it is a privilege to work, um, but we are still um, very 
thankfully we are still open. We are one of the few clinics that have the opportunity to still be open there for our patients, um, and I'm thankful for that. And it's given us opportunities to see like other needs in the community and be able to reach out not only to like my own coworkers and things, but um, for things that people might need. Uh, but we're still still very busy and very up to date on everything COVID nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So as you said, Jade is a, a wound care nurse, and so she of course is getting to work quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> not not pleasantly. She says she's fortunately getting work. Sometimes that's not how she describes it when she's leaving out early in the morning, but uh, it, it's great. She does. It's early, okay. Yeah, it is early. It is early. So anyway, they both have been working, you know, and doing their thing and trying to get through this week. What else I wanted them to be able to do was we, we want to share scripture tonight. We also want to be encouraging and, and to help you. We just don't want to do this to to just kill time, but we want to um, share some things. And I'll be sharing here in just a little bit. And also later on, Carrie is going to be coming and talking about some of our uh, things that we have going on and uh, to say, well, hey, Shelly, Shelly's on with us now and uh, Jan Crane, Lenny, it's good to have you. A uh, Adriana, Adriana's here. So Jade, you can say hi to Adriana. So oh, there you go. Uh, so what I wanted, I asked the girls if they would uh, to maybe give a verse of scripture that has meant something to them or as they both just, just been describing, they are able to visit with people and be an encourager to people. So uh, I just wanted them to ask, uh, to tell you the scriptures that has meant something to them or one that maybe they've been using for uh, helping someone else. So which one of you want to go first with your scripture that you want to share? Uh, so as I already said, this week was supposed to mark the first week that I was going to be living in a new city. And uh, that's been put off for a indefinite amount of time but Monday was actually a very hard day for me because it was the day I was supposed to leave and one of the biggest things I was looking forward to doing this week was actually walking and exploring my new city uh, which I realized I was not going to be able to do so Monday I was kind of having a really hard day uh, but I was listening to a podcast and the person sharing was speaking to people who were like me kind of displaced in a uh, in, in a situation they didn't realize they were going to be in. And they shared out of Zechariah 8, um, and I'm going to read verse 3 through 8. Thus says the Lord, I have returned to Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called the faithful city, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of hosts, old men and old women shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each with staff in hand because of the great age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in its streets. Thus says the Lord of hosts, if it, if it is marvelous in the sight of John. the remnant of this people in those days, should it also be marvelous sure. in my sight, declares the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts, behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country. I will bring them to dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in faithfulness and righteousness. And the reason that really encouraged me is right now we're all, we're all stuck indoors. Yeah. Specifically, the people mentioned in the verse, which is otherly people who are, are told that not to go outside because it's going to be dangerous for them, or kids who are trapped inside, unable to go to school, unable to play in the streets. And it's just such a great encouragement that for the people of God, we will once again play in the streets again together, all mm -hmm. be able to enjoy the city of God together, and I will be able to walk the streets of the city of God. And for me, this week, that's just been a very big thing. And I pass that along to a lot of other people who are being displaced right now. Right. Okay, good. And there are a lot of people that I know that you, you deal with that are in the same predicament you're in. So we need to be praying for them. And I know that means a lot to people in our church because a lot of us are displaced. A lot of us are out yeah. and not being able to do life like what we normally do. So very good verse. Very encouraging. Uh, before we get to Jade, I want to say hi to Carrie Yates and Kay and uh uh, glad to see everybody there and Martha. Hey, mama's on. Hi, mama's mommy. watching. Yeah. Uh, Shelly and Sandy Sharkey, Jeremy Welburn, uh, Wendy Corson, Kay Anderson, Carol Wolf from Tipton. Hi, oh, Carol. Hey. Uh, so uh, everything is, is going well. We have quite a few. Craig, uh, good to have everybody uh, watching. And uh, I, I think one of the things that I'm seeing is that maybe y'all might speak up a little bit louder just to make oh. sure everybody can, got it? Okay, oh. John's got it taken care of. All right, so, uh, is it, well, Will said he's hearing loud and clear, so 
Good job. All right, so everybody's been hearing you, babe. It wasn't, <laughs> wasn't wasting your life. <laughs> so, People hearing me has never been a problem. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Welburn says, hi, Sherry, Jade, and Harold. So it's Hello. good to see everyone. Hi, good. And, and, uh, Charlotte is on with us as well. So, Jade, what, what verse would you have that's meant something to you or something that you might be able to encourage someone else with? So some lovely young ladies that I have Bible study with every week, and we actually got to meet on FaceTime this week, so it was really cool. A different way to kind of still be able to meet together, but we've been reading through Genesis. And um, we're in chapter 8. The flood has happened, <laughs> and there's always like a remnant of hope. Um, and in verse, it's, it's just one verse, but it's um, Genesis 8:22, And it says, as long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night will never cease. And to me, it was really encouraging because you need hope. Like right now, everybody, um, they're discouraged. They're stuck mm -hmm. at home. I have lots of patients that are scared. They're scared to come to their appointments, which we need them to still come. Mm -hmm. And there's people that are scared and there's just uncertainty. Um, but God always has a remnant of hope for us. There's, mm -hmm. We're not without it. And the thing is, is we know who holds the earth. Um, and we don't have to worry. There's no need for fear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, very good. And, and and that I think is very very pertinent for now. Mm -hmm. Not to be afraid. God's going to be here. He's going to walk through even the darkest times with us. So, uh very 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 good <laughs> verse and good good words. Uh real quick before we switch over, uh does anybody we want to take a minute and share some thoughts, but also if you have any questions for us, uh please Write them down, send them, and we'll, we'll try to answer them as much as we possibly can over the next few minutes. Uh, we're going to try not to keep this very long and let these ladies uh, get out of this uncomfortable position that their dad has <laughs> put them in. So uh, uh, I do appreciate them coming and being a part of this. And uh, someone mentioned, say hi to the, the people in the background. Well, first is John. John is our producer, director, technic guy. He, he is everything. And John is going to be starting next week, joining us and being a part of this outfit. So he gets to uh, be on, in the uncomfortable seat uh, as well. I so suffer alongside my people. Yeah, he suffers <laughs> alongside. There you go. And Carrie, uh, our children's director, is going to be coming here in just a little bit. She's standing over there too. So everybody say hi to, to Carrie and uh, looking forward to hearing what what God's doing in her life this week. And uh, as you all know, the schools have been uh, basically closed for the uh, for the rest of the year. So uh, that kind of throws the teachers off just a little bit. Uh, everybody says, hey, John. Everybody's saying hi, John. He's got, he's so, got a following. <laughs> yeah, there you go. John. Oh, John's the popular cool. one here. Uh, oh, Sean wants to know if I can do a monologue next time. We'll work we'll, on it. Hey, I have nothing to do. I'll write this monologue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Will says hello to you too, Carrie. Uh, but yeah, Sherry and them can be my writers. They can be my joke writers, and we'll see how things we'll are going. We'll make them relevant. Yeah. <laughs> John has many talents. There you go. See, John, you got your fan club. But hey, honestly, we're excited that uh, that, that you are watching, and we, we appreciate your comments. And uh, again, this is just here so that we could be able to uh, just get together, have have a little Bible study. This is what we usually do on Wednesday nights anyway. We have a Bible study, and I teach. And so uh, that's why we're doing this. But also, we didn't want to make it to where all you do is see me, and I read a verse of Scripture, tell you something, and then pray. Uh, it is to get to associate and interact with everybody else so you get to see a part of that. Uh, so we're excited about what we're doing here. So uh, we have Kathy Callan. Uh, Sean wants to say, knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> Don't keep it uh, oh, Shelly says, we do love you, Brother Harold, but the girls do add fun to it. <laughs> okay, Woo! thank you, Shelly. There you go. Lives. And that's why I have them here. <laughs> so, We're here to make you look good. Oh, uh, Sean says, owls. Owl, okay, everybody. Oh, no. Owls who? There you go, owls who. We'll find out who this is. I'm so scared. All right, I I'm worried now, Sean. No, this isn't. <laughs> This is everybody be seeing good. this? Yeah. Oh, they're seeing it. So I'm be, be good, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they, guess who? Owls, yeah, they do. Who? Get it? Oh. Who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Owls, who? owls, who? owls who? He said, owls yes, who? they do. Oh, I was like, what? I'll figure out how to do a laugh track. Sorry. Yeah, we'll do a laugh track. Yeah, there you go. natural color. Oh, how about a song? 
Um, hey, the girls do sing. <laughs> I should have had them sing a song. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing I brought my microphone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So anyway. Well, the talent is over there on that side, so maybe we next a week. For that one. Yeah, maybe next week we'll <laughs> we'll do a song for them. <laughs> so uh, the song won't come from me. I always tell everybody God called me into the preaching ministry for a reason and not the music ministry. But anyway, um, if you have any questions, we'll break, we'll answer them here in just a little bit with the, when the ladies will get them to come back. But uh, for right now, we're going to let them slip off to just a little bit. But I want to share a quick thought with you, if I can. Uh, what I want to do here very quickly, and then we're going to have some uh, prayer time in just a little bit, but uh, I, I want to share a verse of Scripture with something that's meant something to me. Now, this verse I used just a few weeks ago uh, for our men's Bible study is in Deuteronomy chapter 32, uh, verses 46 and 47. And so what I, I wanted to read here, it says, uh, And he said to them, Set your hearts on all the words which I testify among you today, which you shall command your children to be careful to observe all the words of this law. Now listen to what he says. For it is not a futile thing for you, because it is your life. Speaking of the word, it is your life. And so, and by this word you shall prolong your days in the land which you cross over into the Jordan to possess. And what I wanted to really say on this is that during this time that we're not sure of what's going on and life is changing and all that, uh, we, we want to know that the Word is going to be very important to you. So I want to encourage you as your pastor, uh, as, as a friend, to get into the Word and don't let it be uh, something that you just put off. Stay, stay focused on the Word. A couple of reasons why. One is, as I shared with the men a few weeks ago, it reminds us that God rules. Man, this is, when we get into the Word, we realize that God actually is in control of all this. And we need to remember that. Uh, also reminds us of what's true. Man, I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff going on out there, folks. A lot of things that, that we hear and it just would blow our mind. Uh, but when we get into the Word, God is going to reveal truth to us. And man, when He reveals truth to us, then it really uh, means something and will help us through these times. And the last one is it reinforces our conviction. It lets us know what we believe. Make sure that we understand, this is what I stand on. This is what I live for. And my friends, as we go through these next several weeks, maybe even a month, um, this, this word will be our life. And that's why we want to do Facebook Live, just to be able to allow you to uh, stay connected with us here uh, at the church and with each other. And so we're having a great time uh, doing this. And so I'm excited about uh, what we're doing here at First Baptist West. And just a few weeks ago, I preached, <laughs> I preached a message about, hey, church, we're going to have to eventually begin to think out of the box to minister Man, little did I know that within a few weeks here, we're really going to be thinking out of the box, trying to, to, uh, to minister to people. We're doing things so much differently than we've ever done here because uh, we're wanting to stay connected. Uh, we, we've never done uh, Facebook Live. I've never done videos to send on Facebook. Uh, I've never preached to uh, just the, the praise team and uh, have a live stream going on. And, but we're really thinking out of the box. And so one thing that we're doing also is keeping our kids connected. And so now what I want to do is Carrie is now joining us. And she's our children's director. And so Carrie is here. And, and she's going to be talking to us a little bit about uh, things that we're doing through our children's department, our preschool department, our youth department. Uh, everything is so differently, uh, doing, being done differently. So Carrie, I appreciate you coming in. And she, I kind of caught her off guard today. She, she wanted to stay in the background. I but, said I would be here, but I wasn't planning on being on camera. So, hi. <laughs> yeah, here she is. So I, I'm telling you, don't I have a great staff, man? They, 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 they'll, 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 I, I tell them I'm the idea guy. They make all, all of it work. And so here's another thing. I got a bright idea. Now Carrie has to come and make it work. But uh, Carrie, it's good to have you here and, and you have an opportunity to, to share with them your heart about our children's department because uh, one of the things is we're wanting to try to make sure all of our kids and their families stay connected to First yes. Baptist West, right? Yeah, we're working really hard to have some activities and some fun things that they can do and um, trying to make it so that we have some interaction um, on Facebook and some things like that and just um, just trying to keep everybody connected in, in the best way we can. So. Okay. Right, and so we're really having to 
to go way out on the limb to do this, right? Yeah, I thought summers were hard around here. Um, <laughs> this is kind of tough sometimes. I mean, I feel like I'm working a lot harder than I've ever had to work. It's and what, how, what I've been doing this eight years now, seven, eight years somewhere, mm -hmm. and it's it's taking a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> so. right. Oh, well, by the way, you're getting a lot of hi, Carrie's. Hi, Carrie. Looking, hi. We're all looking good. Uh, Carrie and Will said, Carrie, you do great work. So I uh, just wanted to let you know that people are, are <laughs> appreciative of what you do. Okay, so what are some of the things we're doing online? Okay, so if um, we've been doing some things online as far as um, in our Facebook um, parent connection, um, we have the, um, we had a scavenger hunt, we had a, um, build your own um, Bible story and so they took most of them took Legos and built something that showed the um, the Bible story uh, we did a uh, what was the other one um, a Bible picture in the, mm -hmm. a, a Bible story in a photo, in the, in the photo and yes. that was a lot of fun um, to see what the, the kids are so creative and it's so great to see how they they do things like that and so those are kind of some fun things where we can share what we're doing at home um, together and then the kids can kind of see that they're not in this alone that um, we you know that um, we're, we're still together mm -hmm. in a way so. right right well one of the things that I really enjoyed I, I looked through all of them and, and tag all of them but I, I was really amazed by the Lego stories yeah they that, were pretty cool. that's <laughs> what blew my mind I was totally <laughs> impressed with what the kids did with the Legos. So if, if someone wants to be a part of that, now because our, our, our section of, that section of our Facebook page is a private page, so people right. can't just yeah. get on it. If someone wanted to be a part of that, the, what can they do? The best way for them to be a part would be to call the church office and then um, they'll get uh, your email address and then we can um, figure out a way to get you connected to that. If they, if they went onto that, to, to that section. It, mm -hmm. They can't get, actually get on it, but they can ask to be invited, right? Could they, can they do that? It's a secret group, so okay. it's actually not something that so anybody, we have to issue it's it out. something that we have to issue okay, out. Okay, good, so, good. And we do that for the protection of our kids. Absolutely. We want to make sure that all of our kids are safe online, um, for sure. And so this, um, we don't um, uh, allow just anybody on. It is a, a, a private page for that. Right. So. Okay, and, and, and we do, again, as she said, we do that for the protection of our kids because we are putting pictures on and different things. Um, so if, if you are wanting to be involved in that and get in, and Carrie has something almost every day on there, something new for them to do, um, that we get to be a part of it. So again, it connects us. So even adults that don't have the kids, say members of our church that would like to see some of those cool things we've been talking about, they can actually be a part of that too by Right. Sending us our, the request. Right. Yes. And so if you send us a request, even if you don't have kids, but you'd like to see, because you're not going to be able to see all those great, cool things just on our Facebook page. It's not going to happen. So if you want to see that, then you have to contact the church. So we do want you uh, to do that for us. And then, then carrying them will allow, allow people on as they request so but you really want to do that so what, what else do you have kind of planned for the weekend with Sunday school how, how are we doing Sunday yeah, school? last um, last week we did um, the Lifeway has given us access to their materials and so we have um, a link that was provided um, for uh, the videos and all those things um, and then also the activity page and so you can, um, they could download that and then families can meet together and um, have that at their convenience because um, we want them to go ahead and go to their adult Sunday school class at the adult time at the, and most of them I think are at 930, is that right? Yes. Still? Um, and so most of them are at 9.30, so we didn't want to conflict with having something live um, at that point. So we're allowing families to do that, but we are providing that material. Um, some of the, if, if someone isn't able to um, download it or doesn't want to use the printer, um, just contact the church office on Thursday or Friday, and um, those activity pages should be available for you to pick up. Right, and and the offices, so you'll know, as Carrie is talking, the offices are open. Uh, we have reduced the number of, of people here in the office, but someone will be here uh, tomorrow and Friday till noon. 
Yeah. Uh, so if you're wanting those at any time, then just stop by and we'll, we'll, have, a, uh, we'll have them ready for you. And I also know that uh, John is doing some things on Sunday school as far as on his site. And John, it's the same thing, right? They have to contact the church if you want to know what's going on. I know he videos a Sunday school lesson and then all the teachers will then follow up with their students in their Sunday school classes. Uh, so we do that. Uh, real quick, I do want to mention that uh, starting tomorrow, we will have a list of all of our, I think we have five groups of adult classes that are doing Sunday school. And we will have online tomorrow uh, how you can become a part of their classes. You don't have to be invited to that one. We'll have a list of all the teachers. We'll put the description of their class and the connection to get to them. So if you go on it, they'll go directly to it, right? To our site. And so if you'll join us there, then we can get you connected uh, to Sunday School. And they will also have on there the times they're doing their classes and what they're trying to do at each day. And some of them are even doing fellowships, uh, online fellowships that That's we thought cool. we talked about that in a meeting last night. I thought they I thought it was pretty cool to be able to, to have everybody there. Uh, just a couple other comments. Oh, uh, I do want to make sure you know this one. Uh, Jeremy says that Gina says you can have her children to help you anytime at the church you want them. <laughs> Thank you for your, for, for your willingness to share your kids. We appreciate that very much. Uh, JC wants us to know that uh, preschool has the same Sunday school activities posted in their private group. So not only just uh, the, the, the children's, but even the preschool has stuff. So, but again, it's the same way. JC wants us to let you know that you can be a part of that but you do have to contact the church. You can't go directly on that private page. Again, it's all for the protection of our kids, which we take very seriously yes. uh, here at First Baptist West. Well, Carrie, thank you for, for you. Do you have anything else that you want to share, a, a verse of scripture maybe that meant something to you? That's good. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for that. Uh, so what I want to do here real quick is to uh, take a moment and see if any of you might have any prayer requests uh, for us because we're going to enter into as we get ready to close out. We're going to enter into a time of prayer, and so what we definitely want to do is we want to pray, uh, pray for pray for our nation, uh, pray for the pray for our leaders. Man, they are in they are in a tough position. Man, I I felt the pressure just of knowing how to set up our calendar for the church, and when we suspended some things, uh, man, I felt pressure on that. I couldn't imagine being uh, our mayor and and what he's having to decide and governors and. And, and the president, I, I couldn't imagine that. So we need to be praying for them. So I, I'm going to ask you to join me here in just a little bit uh, to be praying for them. Pray for uh, those who are being affected by this virus. And I don't mean just by being inconvenienced with some cancellations. I mean those who are really uh, involved with it that maybe have the virus. Uh, I know that, that some people are very sick over that. So we, I don't want to take this lightly. We do want to be praying for them as well. And then pray for, for not only our church, but every church that is continually trying to stay ministering to people because it's, it's really difficult. Um, when I was talking about speaking, uh, getting out of the box on ministry, man, I never dreamed we'd be doing it so quickly and have to come up with so many different ideas on how to keep people connected. So pray for our churches. Uh, and, and my friends, please understand that you need to stay connected to your church. If it's not First Baptist West, if you're connected to another church, stay focused with them and support them through your prayers. Uh, support your churches through your finances because during this time, even though we may not be able to do all the things we're doing, there's still bills and different things we need. So be, be praying for your churches and, and support them. So what I want to do very quickly, um, we don't have anyone... Uh, there's some people, JC's missing her kids and uh, all that. Um, uh, Gary Smith has a procedure on his eye today, had a procedure on his eye today, so we need to be praying for him. Uh, so keep those requests coming. Uh, even after we're done here in just a few moments, then we'll, uh, uh, we will continue to pray uh, for them uh, through this time. So if you would, let's take just a moment and uh, let's, let's go to the Lord in prayer and pray for all of these things going on. And remember again, stay focused on Him. Stay focused on the Word uh, because that again is our life. So uh, let's, let's keep, that, uh, keep that going, okay? All right, uh, we also have Brenda Patterson uh, struggling with her breathing issues and some cancer, so we need to pray for her. Uh, pray for the ICU at uh, Comanche County. Uh, with confirmed viruses, that's West Kinder. So you're seeing those. So we do want to mention 
all of these that we're doing. So if you don't mind, would, would y'all join me in, in, in some prayer time, okay? Father, in Jesus' name, God, we just come to you as people that really have no idea what we're going to be doing. God, we don't even know what we're doing now. We just are following you. And so, Father, I, I, I just come to you now and I, I pray, God, that you would do a great intercession for our nation. That, God, you would, with your word, you could bring all this to an end. And, Lord, I pray that that would be what you would do. But, Lord, I also know that, that you, are, you are perfect in all the things that you do and all the ways that you do things. So, Father, I just ask that your will be done. Lord, I do pray for our leaders. God, I pray that you'd give them a unified spirit. Take all the dissensions and different things that they're going through and uh, that they're seeking their own ways. That Lord, that you would just remove all of that and let them be unified together to do what's best and right for our nation. And God, I know the pressure that our president is under, uh, the people that are advising him. So I pray for wisdom for him. Whether people like him or not is irrelevant. The Lord, that we could pray for the man. That he would be able to make the decisions and lead us as a nation the way that we're supposed to go. Father, I pray for our governor. I lift him up to you, Father. And I pray that he would be seeking you as he has testified in his life that he is a believer. So, Lord, I pray that he would be praying to you. That, God, you would guide him, guide his steps. That God guide his decisions. And Lord, let him uh, be supported uh, by the people. That God, he could lead us as a state. And then Father, I pray for Stan. I, I lift him up as our mayor. That God, I know even personally some of the struggles he's got and things that he's going through, the decisions he has to be making. Oh, Father, I pray for strength for him. I pray for an encouraging spirit for him. God, I ask that you, you guide his, his mind and his heart. And God, let him lead our city. And Father, I pray for Mike, our city manager, that, that God, you would help him through this diff these difficult decisions he's making. And that, Father, that you would just uh, give them strength, encouragement, and vitality. And God, we lift up these who have already been praying, those, the health care workers, God, the, the people in the hospitals, the, the, the policemen, the firemen, everyone, Lord, who is going to have to personally deal with all of these, the nurses, and God, that you would, and doctors, that you would, protect them. God, keep them strong. Keep them healed. healed, and, and God, that they could be able to perform their, their duties. And God, they would do it with a great heart and a great spirit. The Father, that they, they, would, uh, that they would also be appreciated by us, knowing, Lord, they have to go in there every day and deal with things, Lord, that we're even trying to avoid. So I pray, God, for their safety and their, their strength. God, give them wisdom on being able to take care of their patients. And God, I pray for those who have been affected by this virus, those who have caught it. And Lord, they're now struggling. And that God, you would heal their bodies and strengthen them through this time. And God, that you would be with those families who have lost loved ones through this. But Father, I also know that this is not the only thing that we're struggling with. Lord, I know there's flu and I know there's other ailments out there that people are struggling with. So I pray, God, that this time would be a time of unification. Father, this would be a time of seeking you and, Lord, allowing you to work in us and, and draw us to a better, sweeter relationship with you, Father. And I pray for our church, that, God, we would be supportive of all those people, that, God, we would minister to one another, we would not uh, take these things lightly, but, God, we would, would follow the directions that we've been given, and honor those people, Lord, that make these decisions. But Lord, that you would also unify us. Use these things just as a simple uh, Facebook Live to keep us connected, to let people know that we're still there with each other. Lord, we're not going through this alone. I pray for my staff, first and foremost, Lord, for their health. I pray, God, that you would give them strength to their bodies. Father, I pray that you would keep the sweetness of spirit that we seem to have, that, God, you would help us be able to minister to our people. I pray for our deacons. I pray for our leaders. That God, you would um, open their minds and hearts up to the people that they need uh, to be ministering to as well. Father, I pray for the other churches of Lawton and the state. That Lord, you would just bless their pastors, bless their leaders. And God, let us take full advantage of being able to 
minister to people that are in need, that we might see people come to know you. That, Father, you could be honored and glorified in all the things that we're doing. So, God, we turn it to you. We just ask you to do a great work. And, Father, that you, again, could be honored and glorified through what we're saying and what we're doing and how we are showing you, Lord. And over these next several weeks, God, we would not step back, but we would continue to move forward. Father, we do love you. We do thank you so much for not leaving us to ourselves, but guiding us through this very difficult time. Lord, we love you, and we thank you. And Father, it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Amen. I want to thank you for being a part of, of what we're doing here. And I know we have several people that are watching, and, and you've been seeing more uh, prayer requests going as we've been praying. So uh, I appreciate you to continue to pray for them. Uh, lift each other up. And, and I just want to let you know again that through uh, the, the, the leading of our governor and our, and our, our, our mayor, that we have basically uh, are done away with all of our schedules through, uh, when was that, April 20, 25th, wasn't it? 20, 23rd, because we went 23rd. Again, right? Yes, April 23rd is when we're, we're, we're going to go through that, which unfortunately means that our Easter services will not, will not have people here. But be in prayer for us because we're working on a great uh, service for you. We want to know that Jesus is Lord and He is risen, and we're going to celebrate that day together. Amen. So keep that in mind. If you have anything that we can do uh, help, to help you, call us. Uh, we'll be here at the office. Email us, text us, whatever you can possibly do because we're here to, to be with you throughout all of this. Amen. But I want to thank you all for coming and thank you for joining in on this. And we're looking, uh, looking forward to that. I know yeah, the governor says April 16th, but what we're going to do is we're extending it another week just because uh, we do have senior adults that uh, we want to take care of because even though the curve may be going down, we still have several senior adults, and that week was a lot of senior adult activities, so we're going to be doing away with lunch with the, with the pastor and things like that through that week. So we are extending it even one more weekend past what the governor has said, uh, just to be safe. But do remember us, pray for us, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again on our next Facebook Live, which will be next Wednesday at 6.30. We're going to have a great time. We'll have a Another uh, fun-filled opportunity for you to join us, okay? Want to see you. Hopefully, you'll join us on Sunday morning uh, for our Sunday schools that we'll have listed tomorrow. And also for our live stream service, which begins at 1045. Man, we're going to have a great time in the Lord. Thank you for joining. Carrie, thank you. Ladies, thank you. John, thank you for all the work you're doing. For all of y'all, thank you for uh, uh, doing this. And we're really, really excited about what God is doing through First Baptist West. Thank you, and good night. Have a great week.